welcome to Auto Car News Channel. Please like, comment and subscribe to get more videos. We knew the 2018 Type R was good from our first experience on the less than perfect roads of Quebec, Canada. Here, though, are the headline facts from this instrumented test, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds, 1.02 g of lateral grip, and the ability to stop from 70 miles per hour in a Porsche like 142 feet in a tweak front-wheel drive commuter car with 61.8% of its 3,111 pounds resting on the front wheels. So, yeah, extremely solid. The hottest Hondas offered to Americans often wore an Acura badge, including the NSX Supercar and the oldie but goodie Integra Type R. But with Ford's Wild Focus R's joining the Subaru WRX T and the Volkswagen Golf R in the US, the time has come for Honda to finally introduce a machine here that wears its vaunted Scarlet H emblem, the 2017 Civic Type R. While we've endured a long 20 years of seeing its predecessors rack up accolades on foreign tarmac, this scaldingly hot hatch was worth the wait. The aluminum ship ball atop the Type R's standard 6-speed manual transaxle is a close reach from the leather-wrapped steering wheel. It is as rewarding to snick through the shifter's gates as it is easy to burn your hand on after the car has been sitting outside on a sunny day. But working out the sweat driving this car is unnecessary, the engine's thrust quickly builds low in the power band, cleverly tuned rev matching software can remove the driver from the heel and toe shifting loop and the Type R's dual-axis strut front suspension Honda's take on Ford's Revo Knuckle and GM's Hyper Strut almost magically eliminates torque steer when you're pointed straight ahead.